On the ground, Ava and Michael listen to the radio chatter when Michael receives a call from his friend. He's told of the true agenda and told of a way to get on board and leave the earth. Meanwhile, Ava finds a slightly overweight person hiding from a monster that stalks the area for food. The guy has a phone but doesn't use it unless it's an emergency. Considering over 8 billion people ha are having an emergency, he doesn't think he's going to get much help. Ava borrows his phone and calls her husband, hoping his phone works. When he answers, they are overjoyed and talk over each other, trying to give an update to all that has happened. The guy tells Ava she needs to just listen and remove confusion. Taking a deep breath, she does and tells Michael to speak. After giving all the info, Ava tells the guy he's joining them. He says nothing and looks at his phone. Ava simply says, you've got a friend now and we're not food for these creatures. The guy gets up and introduces himself as Malik Baryon, comic collector, how-to video uploader, and lawn care. Ava introduces herself as lone wolf survivor of the Cloverfield Station, wife, and soon-to-be mother of two. He looks down at her and she tells him that it will be a long story. On the phone, Michael tells them where to meet and Malik sets a plan in motion. The monster is highly territorial, thus circling every 20 minutes. So after five minutes, they have a large window. The escape is easy as they have a large path to follow towards their destination. Just entering the path, the creature spots them and they really begin to hustle. Another creature attacks the nearing devourer and they do battle over territory allowing them to escape. As night falls, they all meet up and rejoice. After soaking up the love, meeting respective companions and receiving a call from Michael's friend, they know where to go next. The trip is deadly but there is a military defense along the way and mostly it's just babies. The team of four moves out and head towards their new destination. The sound of battle doesn't bother them. The sound of buildings crumbling gain attention as it could be something else. Soon they come across a group of survivors stocked full of guns and ammo. They're not hostile but do offer them armament in exchange for a moment with Ava. Michael and Ava equally protest as the leader looks down and realizes that Molly doesn't fit the picture with any of them and offers all they want for her. Michael's expression alters from concern to anger and Ava steps forward and offers even more salvation from the monsters. The leader listens to her offer and finds it more than enough. His group of 20 or more agrees and they all set out to find the destination. For 10 miles they listen to buildings crumble but fortunately everyone keeps their calm. Suddenly there is spotlight shown onto the group and the military defense requests that they ID themselves or be killed. There is a standoff as the group readies their guns and declares that they will not be killed by the aliens, the natives, or the stupid that shines industrial lights. Ava speaks up saying that they are leaving the earth with the governments and are taking people who don't try to kill them. The guy behind the glaring light says, fuck if I care, it's just me pretending to be a few hundred. They all die trying to leave the blockade. Ava asks, where did they go? The guy simply says, they all ran in the direction you just came from. That's why I haven't opened the gates for you. 